Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carson's Workshop. I'm your host and carpenter, Carson. Today we are building a desk, a fairly simple one. Again, with the theme of Carson's Workshop, we're going to be using recycled material. So, what I'm going to do is break down this old futon that's just been kicking around, but the wood is in excellent condition. So, the next step is just to break it down. Let's go do it. Alright, to break down this futon, I'm just going to be using a trusty old hammer. And that's all you really need. Alright, one point I must stress about reusing wood from materials is you got to make sure all the nails and screws and anything that's metal you just take them out because you don't want to be cutting your wood with a table saw or your router you can mess up the blade or the bit so I just use some uh, pliers squeeze them out like so now there's going to be a bit of a lip on the table since this is going to be phase four this three quarters of an inch stock is just a little bit too bulky so what I'm going to do with the table saw is actually cut it down so it's about half an inch or so and I'll make it more of a more elegant more delicate look and just uh, take away from a little bit the bulkiness of it all right I'm done Whew. now the next step is to make a dado groove right along here to fit the main part of the carcass just give an example as if this is the main part and just kind of slide in here and this is the lip I was referring to earlier so let's do this on the router made a 3 8 inch round over at the bottom just to add a little bit of decorative touch to it. And stain them a little bit of a darker color. So there's a bit of a contrast between, between the golden pine and the front part. Alright, I've done staining the fascia pieces for the table. Now before I go any further with these, such as mitering the corners, I'm going to start on the main carcass of the decks. So the next would be to rip these down to about two and a half inches. I'll be doing this with the table saw. tip for you workers out there you know we all got our table saws and our routers which produce a lot of sawdust to so to cut it down I actually made a vacuum system which is I had one right here I think it took off I affectionately call mine my R2 unit Let's see where it go last time I saw him he was in the trash compactor where are you come on come out There you are. Come here. Get out of that trash. Come on. Come on. I need you. This is very important.
lumber always has nicks or blemishes or holes, like in this case. And this hole is at least a little bit too big to use wood filler. So what I'm gonna do is use this dowel. I'm gonna get a drill bit the same size, drill it into the hole, use a bit of wood glue, tap it in, and then with a saw, cut it off. Okay, I made a groove along the backsplash. Now this is going to have a piece of cedar inserted into it. And of course this is just a little decorative feature, it doesn't serve any purpose, but just for looks, you know, it spices it up a little bit, because, you know, this piece of pine is a little plain, and I like to do something different each time I do a project. sandpaper in there it's awkward it's weird so what I did I got a vacuum accessory this is one of the parts it's round it's about the same size so I just wrap my sandpaper around and there you go last minute jig final step is here all three main pieces are done the top of the desk as well the fascia pieces are ready to be glued and mitered and the last bit is the backsplash, part three. Okay, I cut the fascia pieces. I mired them at 45 degrees. Now I'm just gonna do a dry fit to make sure everything lines up perfectly before I apply the glue. Right, it does. So I'm not gonna use any nails since I made a dado groove. Combine that with the glue and clamps, it's gonna be stronger than nails. A semi gloss polyurethane. Now, all three pieces are together. We got the stained front trim border, we have the main part of the carcass, and we got the backsplash. So, thank you for joining me in another episode of Carson's Workshop. And just remember, all these materials were done with recycled material, like the old futon I found in the laneway, and the cedar shelving that I actually took from this old house. Alright, just see you next time. Thank you.